from my experience of war and my life experience me Sean Ross of the Pharaoh show in the Octagon series wrote this down once the difference between a warrior and a soldier it's called warrior versus soldier a warrior is able to take decisions himself a soldier needs a general to take up orders a warrior think autonomously and is spiritual a soldier takes drugs and alcohol it's from alcohol it's uh, from the Arab language which, me which means illusion a warrior has a code of honor a soldier possesses neither conscious conscience nor ethics a warrior protects children because they're sacred a soldier kills them as in my lie Auschwitz in all air raids on cities and bombs on children's rooms in all genocides mass murders and massacres on civilians all that soldiers enjoy doing so it's supposed to be good for the esprit de corps or something of a kind a warrior still remembers that the pharaohs precisely that way just to fight a police and an army through robber barons and gangsters who were they themselves as well equally as the two skyscrapers in america blown blown up by the pharaohs themselves in order to justify further war crimes a soldier doesn't care about all that he's a pure instrument within a soldier cultivates a warrior cultivates sexual abstention and the sublimation of its energies caused through every ejaculation essentials as the liquid gold are being extracted through the spiral cord uh, within to the head the articulations feel non grease and one becomes terrestrial without the higher force a soldier rapes in war times and pays in peace times for it a warrior eats and drinks only until 1500 hours fast and doesn't drink until 1700 hours to consequently only drink water until 1800 hours and finally fasts without drinking until the next morning when rising a soldier eats and drinks as a pig no no matter when what or how much a warrior will continue to be so unto a highly progressed age a soldier is worn out at the age of 35 a warrior is also strong and brave in a situation alone against many a soldier only is strong and brave between brackets when many against few a warrior follows his conscience and fights against injustice a soldier is being led by the pharaohs the demons and always searches the strongest side and that of the oppressors a warrior listens to the inner voice and the sixth sense a soldier only listens to the voice of the pharaonic commander a warrior is in no need to prove his masculinity all the time like by oppressing others for instance because he has full control over the knowledge he shows his strengths while playing a soldier feels lost when hierarchy is not defined as in a pack of wild animals who need the alpha leader mother do raise as many warriors as possible so the pharaohs can't snatch your children to make soldiers out of them and father do understand that the rulers trap coming soldiers likewise by presenting them manhood strength and virility in advance though it can only be completed by initiations of a man whose ritual after the rules laws and wisdom of the elders for a warrior fear form, forms a natural element which can be interpreted cause one can be warned for danger by it a warrior's analysis says what's stronger one that stands up out of the trenches runs towards the enemy gets a medal posthumously and celebrate the hero only because he cracked and couldn't deal with fear anymore is he stronger or is he stronger who remains in the trenches deals with fear while noticing further on all warnings lights of dangers who looks fear straight in the, in the eyes and withstands it which one is stronger a soldier gets trained into fearlessness because this way he better carries out the orders religious fanatics political fanatics of a furious cult or chauvinist fanatics 
These are all the pharaonic rulers' means to either create cannon fodder or instruments of terror. But of course, a warrior must be able to control his fear and under circumstances to be able to shut it off. But then only when he wants it and not when the others and their doctrines do want so or because fear just gets so overwhelming. But principally, he lives with fear as being a sixth sense ally. ally. A warrior enjoys and needs loneliness for balance and thus to complement himself. The soldier doesn't manage alone, nor without the so-called esprit de corps. He needs the family that the army substitutes him. A warrior doesn't need to talk without saying nothing. He is. A soldier must scream, shout and give orders, otherwise he's not feeling confirmed. A warrior matches himself against infinity and the ancestors for measure. A soldier matches himself against hierarchy and the enemy. A warrior is a modest person and doesn't seek glamour. A soldier collects medals for his outrages. Future warriors are being called by the inner quest. Future soldiers are lured in by the army by beta, strength, manhood and fearlessness to be gained as presented in propaganda films as Hollywood, evidently cause they don't possess any of them. A warrior dresses himself as he pleases. Soldiers all look alike in their force guard robe. A warrior is able to organize himself by direct communication as in non facet pugnum digitor uno. A soldier can only function in a given organization. A warrior rinses his nose several times a day in order to have a sharp mind. A soldier rather puts drugs up his nose and owes a blunted mind. A warrior knows that after the atomic war there will be one again with bow and arrow. A soldier believes that he'll never run out of weapons and ammunition. A warrior also uses elegant weapons because he knows that a bullet can be stopped but the words crashes through the wall flies over borders as a military jet and swims over oceans as a naval ship for a soldier there only are destructive or killing weapons ranging from swords rifles grenades tanks naval vessels vessels and atomic bombs until all existence has died out a warrior when naked still is a weapon a soldier never can hang on sufficient armory. A warrior is aware that war means to die himself. All soldiers are convinced of victory and that only the others die. A warrior knows when one doesn't organize amongst each other, only the rulers will do so for you, without you and despite of you. A soldier doesn't contemplate an organization, he's just part of it without being conscient of it. As a warrior hungers for justice, he fasts every evening and night in solidarity with the poor and the starving ones. For a soldier there are canteens in peace times and pillaging in war times. A warrior utters in humor, my name is Bond, Vagabond. A soldier believes he's playing the leading part himself. After the principle of indoctrinations of the media's propaganda, machinery so mother do raise as many warriors as possible so the pharaohs won't snatch your children to make soldiers out of them 